Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. Yes, today is Monday, February, I believe. Today is the 21st. Am I right? I think it's the 21st. Anyway, happy Monday. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I actually wanted to talk about like about a year or so ago and that is ghosting okay so I'm not sure if any of you who watches or who may be watching now have ever been ghosted or you have ghosted someone but that new that ghosting of course is a new term far as not hearing from someone you know or whatever the situation is because I could have swore like back in the 70s they was calling those one night stands but I mean some of us we put our heart into a, you know a situation right away and so if a person just feels like you all are not compatible after dating and don't feel like they de you deserve an explanation then if that's what you guys call ghosting then yeah that's definitely ghosting but I'm pretty much a late 70s 80s baby what you guys call ghosting I don't think my era we had a term for it I think maybe by that time or in at in that time it was just what it was because first of all there were no social media there wasn't a lot of things that people have today that you know if they are like on some type of social media you can see that person you know basically thriving without you you see what i'm saying if they had not blocked you um in the process so let's just say that so you know in my day we didn't have all that so if you lost contact with a person pretty much you lost contact with that person. I mean, I'm not saying that you may never run into that person again, but yeah, I mean, the chances were very, very slim. So let's just say that. So I'm gonna answer the questions, have I ghost and have I been ghosted before? And I'm gonna take you guys way, way, way back. We're gonna go all the way back to around about 1988. Okay. So, in 1988, I was in Brooklyn on Chauncey Street. Um, from what I'm hearing, lived right across the street from where they filmed the Honeymooners. I had to be about maybe 11. Could have been a little 10, I don't know, 11, 10, 11. And I was living with my mother at the time and my brothers and my sister, they were living with my grandmother. And my grandmother, she lived in Marcy Projects. And so there was um, one day this guy, he called, you know, the phone on Chauncey Street. He was looking for my brother and I don't know how it happened. I don't even remember nothing about the conversation, but all I know is me and this guy who was calling for my brother, we had this, at the young age I was, <laughs> we had a phone romance, like literally every single day, all day long, I spoke with him pretty much over the phone um and that was it was it was the summertime so I was out of school so I had all day to you know to be on the phone with him well the, the time that maybe my mom wasn't around or you know something like that I'm sure there was you know times that we did not talk but we talked a lot 
And for whatever reason, like he was moving around from state to state. And I think that it was just that they were traveling from one part of the South to coming back to the North. And so through all of that time, I met his cousin, his cousin tried to hook up with, you know, one of my friends. And this is all through the phone. Imagine, like this is not the internet. This is all through the phone. And so, I mean, we had three months, like three long months of this, I don't know, it was like a whirlwind with romance. And I know you like, chow, shut up. But I mean, it was really, it was pretty intense. Like seriously, it was pretty intense. I'm not gonna start eating some of this, you guys. But it was pretty intense, you know? And so, one day, he asked me, you know, was I gonna be, you know, visiting Marcy Projects anytime soon? And so, we made plans to meet. I come over, you know, to my grandmother's house or whatever. And so he comes and I think somehow, I don't know if my brothers were downstairs or what happened, but I do know that they were all in the hallway. Him and my brothers, they were in the hallway. And when my brother, he came into the house, he was like, um, and I can't remember the guy's name. I cannot remember his name to save my damn life. Like seriously. And I, I can't stand it. I was supposed to ask my brother. Maybe he would remember. But I can't remember his name. And so. Basically my brother comes in the house. And he's like. um, He was like. You know. I'm just calling him blank. Blank would. Blank. You know. Want to see you. And so I'm nervous. Like I got butterflies in my stomach. I'm like. Oh my God. You know, I'm just like so worried. Like, what is this guy gonna think of me? Is he gonna still like me? Is he gonna be like, eh? You know. And so I go in the hall, out in the hallway, and I don't know who he is. I never seen him before. I never even heard of him. I didn't know he existed in Marcy Projects. Like seriously. And so. My brother was like, you know, basically being like, this is him, you know, right here. When I tell you, when I tell you, I'm not really sure. I can't even remember exactly how this basically um, played out. But all I know is that I was on the other side of my grandmother's door, my back to the door, and I think I screamed out or something, something I said. And everyone looks at me and they're like, you know, trying to figure out like, and so I guess I must explain some of the story or whatever the situation. And he was like, oh, that's so mean. Like, why would you do da, da 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 I was like, ew, I was like, he's so ugly. I was like, no, he's ugly. And so I think my brother came back in and was like, I don't know, like something, he, the guy, you know, he must have said or how, he felt or whatever. I don't even know. I didn't even give a freak, to be honest. Like literally, when people say, oh, you know, you're kind of cold. I did not care, okay? Cause that is how gross he was. And I've dated some gross people in my life. <laughs> but I don't, I guess younger, I was more selective in the grossness. I don't know. But anyway, so I never seen him again. I never see, he never seen me. I never seen him. I didn't never go back out in that hallway. That was the end of it. I don't know if he, I can't remember he was still calling me or whatever, but I think I probably told my mother to tell him to stop calling or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember. And truthfully, I, you know, I felt a little bad today. I do. I feel pretty bad today. But in that moment, I did not feel bad. And so I was a 10, 11 year old, you know, which you all consider ghoster. 
So yeah, um, I met this guy. At this time, I'm like maybe 14, 15 years old. So I'm a little more grown a little more mature, you know. So I meet this guy and me and him, you know, we have like phone conversations and I think I've seen him probably one or two more times like, you know, and had, you know, face-to-face -face conversation with him. But a lot of our conversations were mostly um, on the telephone and I'm not really sure if that's something that I just wanted and I didn't push or want for anything, you know, more or maybe he asked, I can't remember. But I do know that we, you know, we had a, 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 a you know, I'm going to say for about a month or two or maybe a month. I'm going to say a month. I want to say two months, but let's just say a month or two. So, um, one day I had my friends over and I asked, I was like, hey, listen, I was like, this guy keep calling me. You know, I really don't want to, you know, see, like, talk to him anymore. I want you to call him and tell him I passed away. So she tells him, she said, I passed away. And I can hear him because I'm on the other phone. And he's very, like, shocked. Like, he's literally he's shocked like i just talked to her like i can't believe this da, 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 da. and so i was just like laughing i wasn't laughing i mean i was laughing the inside and yeah pretty much i never seen him like i didn't see him like after that i don't know where he was or where he lived at in staten island but I didn't see him until some years. <laughs> I didn't see him until some years later. Okay. And so when I seen him, the look on his face, <laughs> the look on his face was so priceless. Lord <laughs> literally thought it. That he was seeing a ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry. But he was looking at me like, oh my God, I am looking at a freaking ghost. I mean, because this was like, if I was 14, 15, I think I was 18, 19, the next time he seen me. And so, the, I'm tell he didn't even say nothing to me. He just literally like walked to the side, like, let me make sure this, what the hell? I... So, like I said, would you guys call ghosting? Yeah, that's not ghosting. That's not ghosting, okay? That's not ghosting. So, this next one, He's from Virginia and I was about 29 years old pretty much newly single and I was dating so I met this guy and Pretty much I had a rule, which a lot of us had a rule, that, you know, you wait for any type of, you know, sexual contact, you know, try to get to know the guy or the girl. And um, so that's what I did with this guy. We waited for some months. I don't know if we planned it. I don't think that we planned it. I just think that in my mind, I thought like, you know, when I'm ready for this to happen, then I'm just going to allow it to happen. Let's just say that. And so, this guy owned a, he owned a, I don't know if he owned it or if he 
I think he owned it. I think him and another guy, he said they owned a group home. And we went over to the group home. And I'm not sure if it was the holiday or what it was, but the boys, they weren't there at the time. And so we were, you know, sitting down in like the game area or the entertainment area. And so we were sitting on the couch or whatever. And, you know, one thing kind of led to another. And, you know, we was doing it. <laughs> and so I have a very strong sense of smell. And when I tell you the only thing that I can focus on was the smell of the couch, like, it just turned me off so bad. Like, it, oh my God. Like, I was just, whew. So, when he calls me, I don't answer my phone. And he calls me and calls me, leave messages, and I never answer my phone. I never ever spoke to him again after that day. I never seen him after that day either. So I can't even remember his name. I'm gonna be very honest. So, but I have been ghosted. I have been ghosted. Okay, so. It was this guy who was younger than I was, which at one point I would never do. And so, like, he wanted, you know, to hook up or whatever. I had my own apartment and everything like that. And he wanted to, for me, him and I to hook up or whatever. So I was like, all right. I'm going to come over, you know, spend a night. And I was like, you know, ain't nothing going to happen. But I just, you know, want to come, you know, spend a night with you or whatever the situation. And I can't remember how long from the time I met him and then the time I said I was going to spend a night. But we was talking kind of on a regular basis, but not on a regular basis. Okay, so... Anyway, he had brought me over some, some, some powder that was like for, like if you working out or whatever. So he brought that over and I was saying to him, I was like, all right, so I'm going to come, you know, and I'm gonna, you know, spend the night with you or whatever the situation is. So he got kind of nervous or whatever. And I'm like, Okay, because I know he said he lived with his, his brother, him and his brother lived together. So I'm assuming like they got two separate rooms and everything like that. So, but after I said that, he was like, yeah, you know, me and my brother, we just going to go do something they was going to do, do. And I was, and he was like, when I, we finish, you know, I'm going to give you a call or whatever. So the whole night goes by. I didn't hear anything from him. And so I called him because I'm like, y'all you know, know him and his brother said they were going to do something. I was like, damn, I, you know, because usually I'm the type of person that like, fuck it, you ain't calling me, you call me, I ain't calling you. But then I'm like, under the situation, how we left each other, I was like, well, that's kind of, you know, inconsiderate of you to not check up and see, you know, how he is. So I did, I called and I got nothing. But his phone is still ringing and everything. So, you know, when your phone's still ringing, it's not just going to voicemail. Pretty much it's charged. You know, you're probably most likely good. And so, all right, I left it alone because I'm like, you know, all right. So, he didn't call. I waited for like, I think a week to go by. And I called him again. Like, you know, seriously, like what's going on? I'm, you know, I'm getting kind of worried. Da, 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 da. Call him again. I think I called him all in all about five times. Probably really even not that. About four. I'm going to say four or five times just to extend it. But trust me, I know I probably did. But pretty much I never heard from him ever again. And that was it. I ain't lose nothing. He ain't lose nothing. So that's what that was. But yeah, so 
I know I made my, go, my me being ghosted, you know, not sound as, you know, intriguing as others. If I guess if he's telling his part of how he ghosted me, maybe it's going to sound a little different. I don't know. But anyway, so you all let me know, you know, what is your ghosting story or ghosted story? You know, it's always, you know, interesting to hear what we all consider as ghosting. Thank you for listening to my facts. And you guys will see me again soon. Mm -hmm.